Hi there, super friends. Thanks for joining me as I tell stories from the ghetto window. This time, I'll tell you another story. It's about child abuse. And people wonder why Master Legend became a superhero. Mainly because of child abuse. I will start telling a lot of stories about what I went through for those who even dare to want to listen. This one here, I'm going to tell you, is a horrible story. Me and my brother, he's still around, the peanut head. He's a witness to everything I will tell you if anyone ever doubts my word. We were both badly abused, seriously abused. Our mom is still around. She's still alive, but she denies it. But she was even worse than my daddy, who was the alcoholic madman that thought he was a tough man to beat up and two little kids. And I'm not talking about little spankings. I'm talking bloody lashes from the back of your neck to your heels. Punch, knocked around. He used to grab us by our hair and smack our heads together. We'd have lumps on top of lumps, punching us, throwing us around. I can go on and on. But here's a, one story I'll never forget as I was just petting my doggies. I could never imagine doing such a thing, but this is what my daddy did. Um, and my mama went right along with it. You'll hear the story now. We had a dog, it was a Pekingese. And me and my brother were just little kids. We had nothing to do with it. They had got the dog somehow, somewhere. I don't know where it ever come from, but it was a nice little dog. And we used to pet the dog. I remember his name was Peaches, a friendly little dog. Well, one day, as my daddy and his usual drunken rage come home from work and Something happened. The dog chewed up something. The dog chewed up something and he went in a raging fit. And I heard him beating that dog and he kept beating the dog until its last little whelp. And oh, uh, was I sad. I knew it happened. I knew he killed the dog. And it, got, it gets worse from there. Not too long afterwards... I remember, you know, they used to take us with them everywhere. We went to this this grocery shop where it was a butcher shop. And my daddy brought him something in a bag. I had no clue as a young kid uh, uh, what was going to happen there. This was a place that, that went ahead and um, butchered anything you brought them. You'd bring them a squirrel. You could bring them a raccoon, a rat. They'll... they'll um, Butcher it all, the whole thing. So he, I didn't know it at the time, but he brought the dog. And then later um, that night, I remember my mama was cooking up something and it had a weird, weird smell to it. And then they made me and my brother eat it. And I mean, it was bad. I, and I had suspicions. I, I seen some hairs that looked like peaches hairs. And there my mama was just cooking it up. And one time she, she made some stew. And I, me and my brother were sitting at the table. And I, I pulled up a spoon and I said, Robert, that was it, that's his name, the peanut head's real name, Robert. And um, I said, what is this? And he says, that's Peach's nose. And I said, yeah, that's what it is. We've been eating the dog. And then my mama came and plucked it out of my spoon and threw it in a garbage can. Eat your dinner. Yep. And there you go. That's one of the things that me and the peanut head had to go through. And then we knew then we were eating the dog. And there were still more days to go until it was all finished off. That's how horrible things were for me as a young kid. I, I know some people say I'm making that up. No, I'm not. I, you know I'm a Christian man. Godly try to be the uh, best I can. I'll put my hand on the Bible. It's all God's honest truth. 
and I got a lot more stories to tell you, and I hope they get around. I really do. Child abuse is something Master Legend hates, and that's why you see me from some of my earliest YouTube videos talking about child abusers. I've got a lot more stories, and some of them are even worse than this. They're a lot worse, actually. But this one's a bad one, too. It's all bad, but I can tell you a lot more. So anyway, this will be part one of Master Legend's child abuse stories. I thank you for listening. Please subscribe. It's been a tough life. I didn't have the lucky, lucky start to regular people. You'll find out. I, hadn't ha I didn't have anything. I mean, starvation is what I had, and abuse, and I couldn't wait to the day I was on my own. And I was 15 years old. My mama, Ginger, emancipated me and my brother. We catch up in age, and she emancipated both of us and, and rid herself of us, kicked us out pretty much into the streets. So, till next time... I'll tell you even more stories from the ghetto window. Thank you very much.